This is a contrast and CT scan of a nine months old male baby. Now there is a left paraortic and paraspinal mass. This extends from the level of DV12 up to LV3. Now this is the mass here. This shows non-homogeneous enhancement. Nodular calcifications are present in this mass. This whole is the mass. Now the mass has surrounded more than 50% diameter of the abdominal aorta or more than 180 degrees of abdominal aorta. The mass shows retro aortic extension. Aorta is displaced anteriorly on right side. The mass comes to lie almost against the medial surface of inferior vena cava. However, its interface with the inferior vena cava is distinct. The mass has partly surrounded the proximal part of left renal artery. The rest of the left renal artery and left renal vein they are displaced anteriorly. Please see these calcifications here. The mass has infiltrated left crust of diaphragm and left psoas major muscle. However, there is no intraspinal extension of the mass. These are the calcifications in the mass. This is a typical case of neuroblastoma. The mass has displaced lower part of left kidney laterally. There is no involvement of left kidney. The mass has compressed left ureter resulting in mild hydronephrosis and delayed excretion of contrast medium on left side. The mass has surrounded now these are the lumbar arteries. Mass is surrounded lumbar arteries as well. This is the coronal scan. Please observe these calcifications. This is aorta. This is left renal artery. Mass extends posteriorly into left paraspinal region invading left psoas muscle. Left adrenal gland is normal. This is the left adrenal gland here. This is the cytal scan. This is aorta. Now this is the left renal artery which has been partly surrounded by the mass. This is the delayed scan. There is mild hydronephrosis on left side. This is left ureter which is compressed resulting in mild hydronephrosis on left side. 